And as Vladimir Putin praises his Russian fighters as national heroes, those pushed out of Ukraine are finding safety right here in Tampa Bay. It's been two years since the beginning of the invasion. In that time, more than three million Ukrainians have fled their war-torn country. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen introduces you to one of those refugees as she shares her family's experience escaping the war and settling in Northport with you. We pray a lot and we ask God to f stop this war. An uncertain future stretches before Raisa Koritska. I cannot uh, see uh, the end of this war. As her home country of Ukraine enters its third year of war against Russia. Continue and continue and uh, it uh, became become uh, bigger and bigger. This time of year bringing up memories of fear and confusion. Russia first attacking her homeland. Uh, it was very uh, scared and terrible uh, moment for all country. She says she and her husband Sergei watched friends and family go off to fight and would have joined them if not for their four children. In August of 2022, through a refugee visa program, they were allowed to come to the U.S., choosing Northport where her husband, a car repairman, had a client who took them in, welcoming them with an Eastern European soup. In the kitchen there was borscht for us. Uh, we were in... Um, a peaceful country. They have been embraced by the local Ukrainian community, including Inia Turnstall, who says all are concerned for their country's future. Clearly, clearly genocide. There's no mm -hmm. doubt about that. There is a future if there's going to be peace, they can start rebuilding. Mm -hmm. But their future right now is to win the war. Uncertainty at home, but for now, taking comfort in a safe, temporary refuge. We hope and we pray for uh, finishing the, the war because uh, it is very terrible. It is very terrible. In Northport, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. The uncertainty continues for Raisa and her family as they, their temporary protected status here is expected to expire in April 2025. There are several events that are happening tonight and tomorrow in, Tampa, uh, in Tampa Bay. And you can find more information on the free 10 Tampa Bay app.